Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a project that many people have done throughout the internet, uh, but we did our own anyway. We're still kind of in the middle of it, so it's going to be more of a talk about project than it is a showing how we made it because it's pretty simple. So it's a DIY weight tree. Uh, something to hold all the weights in that garage gym. So uh, let's get to it. Hey guys, here's a quick tour of the garage gym. We got our squat rack, uh, bench, uh, we've got the deadlift platform. My son actually made this when he was uh, away at college. Uh, works really well. Uh, he is an amateur power lifter. Uh, I can get into that more at another time. But here is our weight rack. Um, basically, we just took old pieces of, we had an old trampoline that we dismantled and we saved the pipes. Well, the pipes are about an inch and a quarter in diameter so they they fit pretty well um, to hold all different size of weights uh, we basically just started with two two by fours uh, straight up and down those are about four feet tall or so uh, cut a piece of two by six put on the top uh, this is actually a piece of copper pipe like this one that's not painted yet uh, so we put a, a pipe out the top to stack some weights uh, we put a pipe going this way to stack the smaller weights there's tens in the back fives in the front uh, we put our lighter weights our 25s and 35s on top and then we put all the 45s on the bottom um, <clears throat> that seems to make it more stable um, one thing we did do to stabilize it is we added two by four filling into here and on either side of these two by fours to make sure that they don't uh, come crashing down um, there's a couple two by fours um, heading this way and then some to, to actually hold it up going this way uh, on each end. So really simple design. Um, all we did was add a few supports here and there, um, drilled inch and a quarter holes um, on each side. Uh, that one you can see we got a little bit crooked. That's my fault. But uh, otherwise, it works out really well, and it keeps the weights off the floor. Um, biggest biggest thing, although he's still got some on the floor over there, but hey, we'll deal with that one later. Uh, this was our old solution, uh, which did not work at all. Um, so we're going to tear that down and, and make, a, make something else out of that. Uh, one thing that's in progress now, sneak peek, uh, we are building a lat pull-down bar. Uh, more another video on that coming soon, but we're in the middle of that one uh, Just to give you a sneak peek. Here's our our bar. This is again is an old trampling bar uh, We 3d printed some ends for it You can see there To give it a nice finished look just put an eye bolt through it. We'll, we'll get to this. This is another video We're in the midst of this right now it's kind of a fun project. Hey, but there you are. I mean, this this was actually made from all scrap that we had. So it didn't really cost us anything. We had the paint left over. Uh, we, like I said, we got to finish painting it. We got all this bottom half left to paint. We wanted to test it out and see how it worked. Uh, but yeah, all scraps that we had at the house. Um, so really, didn't didn't cost us any money. All left over from other projects. And like I said, the scrap trampoline bar. Uh, but you could use about any metal bar you have on hand, I would imagine, and it's going to hold it fine. Now, I wouldn't put 45s on a copper pipe. <clears throat> that's a little softer metal, and that's probably going to bend, but it does hold the 10s and 5s just fine. I'm 3D printing ends for the trampoline bar, because what we did is we cut those with a sawzall, um, and they're, they're a little bit burry on the end. We, we took some sandpaper and tried to flatten them out, but we're going to go ahead and 3D print ends uh, to put on those. And we designed the ends right here in open SCAD. It's real simple. Uh, just a couple of cylinders with a difference. We just had to, we had to measure, uh, you know, with the caliper, do it a couple times to get it right. But I think we finally got it down. Uh, we want them to be on there tight enough so they don't come off when you pull those weights off, but um, not so tight that it will break them as you try to uh, put those on the end of the pipe. So there you have it guys, uh, real simple design, uh, something made of scrap, something free, keep the weights off the floor, quick and easy. Uh, if you need more detail on it, let me know. I can add some stuff in the description, but really it's, uh, it's really basic. Just 
a uh, bunch of scraps thrown together. Uh, space it out by the, the, the spaces of your weights and you'll have enough room for it. Uh, that's all we have for today. Quick video during the quarantine of 2020. Uh, you got any ideas, anything you want us to make while we're stuck around here in the house, let us know. Uh, we're going to keep fixing stuff, making more videos, and uh, hang in there. Be healthy. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.